Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I wanted to show you this. Uh, you know, we've got a situation right now where Bitcoin is kind of running up while a lot of the altcoins are not doing anything or going down a little bit, but we've had this kind of situation here over the last uh, few weeks, I think. Um, but C3 Nick makes a good point, a good point having to do with this. And that is, he says, the masses are running towards the asset, which is currently rising. By doing so, most do not take advantage of the pump. They are the pump. One reason why most people do not make money, by definition, just my opinion. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to illustrate this for you uh, right now with something I've made money on that I, I talked about this months ago. I was talking about how many of you are have money like in an IRA and are there any are there any ways to invest to get exposure to digital assets in like an IRA well I had gone and looked for myself because I have my own IRA and I had gone and looked for myself and I talk about Greystone um, a good bit on here but this is the one that I found that I could invest in through my um, through my IRA Grayscale, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. It was the only one that I could find through my IRA. Well, I did go and invest, and I invested. Um, this, th this is this is what you call in, in in. This is how you make money investing. I invested, and I'll show you. I invested in this back when er all the everything you saw was negative. Everything was scary. Oh, digital asset. When 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 we were at the worst part of in in 2018 i guess back let's say back somewhere around here like december 2018 back then the whole world's coming to an end and uh the bubble popped and every article was about how wall street's leaving digital assets and all of that that's when i bought into this i literally have almost doubled my investment in my ira off of that one thing but that is the how you have to think is you you don't look at what the crowd is doing if the crowd is driving the price of one particular thing up that is, look away from that go and look find the diamonds in the rough go and find the things that have like investments that have true promise that are for whatever reason not moving right now. I mean, there is no greater example than, of that than XRP for all the reasons we talk about all the time. But that's just my opinion. That's what I do. That's how I invest. So here in the midst of all of this, uh, of all of this going on, I, I literally yesterday looked at my IRA and I, and I looked at my wife last night and I said, my IRA has literally almost doubled because of a Bitcoin investment, folks. Um, okay. And next, this was a tweet from Anthony Pompliano, um, and I think he's, I, he may have tweeted this. Let's see if he tweeted this today or yesterday. It was yesterday. This, towards the end of the day yesterday, and I tweeted about it too. He says, Congressman Brad Sherman wants to outlaw cryptocurrencies. He has been in office for 22 straight years, more than twice as long as Bitcoin has, has existed. Maybe we should outlaw lifelong politicians. Thankfully, Bitcoin will be around long after Mr. Sherman. And he is so right here. These people, some, not all, but some, a lot of these people in Congress that are just lifelong politicians, they, they get, it, it is so ridiculous. They, they, they get up there to Washington, D.C., away from the struggle that all the rest of us are in to make a living. And all of a sudden, they've got these cushy livings, and they're living off the taxpayer. And all one thing leads to another, and they end up there for 22 years, and they forget all about what it's like to really be in the struggle and really have to, uh, to make ends meet and make smart investments that can make your family's lives better. And instead, they get up here with all this pomp and arrogance 
and say stupid things like this. This guy obviously has been nowhere near learning about digital assets. If he had been over the last year, he would know how stupid and late his comments are. This genie is way out of the bottle and it's already gained way too much weight to get back in the bottle. And this guy has no clue, but it is just disgusting the way he's talking about. He, he referenced that needing to get rid of cryptocurrency and everything he was saying was all about the, oh, well, this would make us lose power in, in this and this and that. Just ridiculous, ridiculous. But it shows the arrogance just dripping off of these people. They need to just be fired. They need to clean out that whole place and it's probably that way for, for the governments around the world, not just the United States. Okay, next. Got this from Diane B. At L-I-V-N with passion. Live with passion. Living with passion. She sent this. Here's a way that we can call the good congressman and tell him what a moron he is. No, don't tell him what a moron he is. But leave a complaint and tell, tell them, put some pressure on Congress to not listen to people that don't know what they're talking about like this guy. Um, so here's the phone number and um, you can probably go and go to type in Congress and look up his page and really hit him with some emails and phone calls. Um, okay, next, Sean Michael at Michaels underscore Mr. sent me this. He was making me aware of this uh, video. I had shown you this video yesterday, if I can get it to come up, these, these YouTube videos, they Come on, don't play. All right, I hope that doesn't ding anything. I, I, I try not to play videos on here because I don't want to get dinged in any way. But um, for copyright or whatever on YouTube. But anyway, I wanted to show you this because um, this right here uh, at the... And Sean, uh, he told me it's about at the five minute mark. And what it is, is it's a, um, it's a, this is the crypto CNBC crypto trader. Bitcoin is going par parabolic again. I showed, I showed you this yesterday at about the five minute mark that they've got Anthony Pompliano on there and he's talking about what the institutions are looking at. And he's making the point. They're not looking at, um, the, these coins that are, you know, number 100 on the coin market cap or whatever. He said, they're looking at the ones that have some serious market cap like Bitcoin. And then he mentioned specifically XRP. And I've told you for a long time, I think Pompliano is a closet XRP guy. And I still think that, but th you don't hear him mention XRP much. I think he just can't. But I think that that was Anthony Pompliano giving us a shout out. So, um, <laughs> he's saying what we already know, but, but still he's a good guy. Okay. And next from XRP veteran, Hester M. Pierce, a member of the securities and exchange commission is worried that the regulator is moving too slowly for the crypto ecosystem. You think, all right. So this is what, um, this was about. And I just wanted to read you a couple of her quotes. I worried that hasty regulation would smother the industry in its infancy. My concerns did not become reality. The enforcement actions we have taken to date in the crypto space have, for the most part, exhibited appropriate restraint. On the regulatory side, hasty is not the word I would use to describe the SEC's pace. It is not the SEC's overzealous action that, is, that has stifled the crypto industry, but its unwillingness to take meaningful action at all. Um, then she says, um, the SEC has, has yet to provide guidance for public or FINRA on any of the core questions. The result is that many would-be brokers and trading platforms are stuck in a frustrating waiting mode. They are unable to get clear answers to questions about how they may proceed in this market. And then uh, the U.S. securities uh, markets have historically been the envy of the world. I do not want heel dragging by the SEC in crypto to mar that well-deserved reputation. Wow, she is a she. When the history books are written, this lady should be a hero because she is one of the few government voices that is really trying to help this thing along. And that she's a, she's a good guy, big time. All right. And then from Sean Schaefer at Sean Schaefer 10 sent me this, these YouTube videos, they keep trying to play and it drives me crazy because I don't want to get dinged. Um, okay. 
This is the ripple drop, folks. Don't play. All right. This is the ripple drop, and this was another ripple drop that they um, they did, like an extended ripple drop, and th they address how Ripple has been working with central banks, and so you need to go watch this. It's on the Ripple channel on YouTube. And finally, I, I, yesterday, I mentioned banana pudding, and I'll bet you that a lot of you out there are banana pudding fans. Well, Costa Rica Kelly at Slade Crypto sent me a banana pudding recipe and said that this was awesome. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family to try Paula Dean's um, banana pudding recipe. Thanks for listening.